Being smart does not mean being successful. Hi, I'm Lawrence Tan from Drive Your Practice. Now, as we approach the end of November, this is when, for most Australian chiropractors anyways, is that we have to meet our CPD requirements, which means that everybody's scrambling to get, make sure that they got their formal learning hours. Now, a lot of people have been emailing me and wondering whether my programs have CPD um, hours. So here's my answer to that question. There is a governing body that actually dictates whether or not a program has the qualifications for CPD requirements. And uh, their, their response for my program is that because I am dealing and teaching people on communication and practice growth, they do not consider that as being formal learning hours. So I get what they're saying. I think one of the things that is important to be clear here is that in order for you to get practice growth, you can't just rely on formal learning hours because formal learning hours is great, it will make you smarter, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna grow in your practice. I think in order to grow in your practice, you need two types of skills. I think you need to have two types of learning. Number one is hard skills. Hard skills is basically those skills that you need to learn in terms of becoming a better chiropractor in terms of your technique skills or in your mind, which is your scientific literature, most up-to-date research information. I think those are important skills to have and I think it's important to strive to become a better chiropractor in those circumstances. However, learning just the hard skill does not necessarily mean that you're going to have a great practice growth or have better patients coming to you or more patients coming to you for a matter of fact. I think you also need the secondary skills which is called soft skills which most people don't or more formal people don't actually see them as being important skills but I think it's one of the most important skills because soft skills are the things that are communication skills. They're skills of being able to understand empathy, the understanding of how people think and how their emotions, how they're governed by their emotions on top of their physical discomforts and pain or whatever that's going on in their head because if you don't know how to manage them if you don't know how to communicate the message of what you do to them and relate it to why it's important to their life and how it's important to their lifestyle, it's never going to work in terms of creating a better connection and trust and rapport with your clients. Because we don't just need smarter doctors, I think we need smarter people who care about the human being. Because let's face it, see, whether you're being a chiropractor, whether you're a medical doctor, whether you're a physiotherapist, any type of therapy, we're in the service business industry, which means that we're here to serve people. And people is, are not numbers in the scientific research. They're not just you know numbers, they don't fit into a box. They also have other components, which is really difficult to work with sometimes and therefore we need to understand those soft skills along with the hard skills in order for you, for you to become a better practitioner. So in order for you to become that better practitioner, I think you need to really focus also on your soft skills because at the end of the day, you don't want to be the smartest chiropractor with the best technique skills and have no one there to practice on or no one there to work on because no one understands you, no one cares about you and you don't care about them because you just treat everybody like a number. I think it's important that you actually develop your communication skills, you develop some rapport skills and trust skills and also communication skills that allow you to communicate the message directly to the patient or to the client about the understanding of what you do and how it relates to their problem. Let's face it, just because someone was the smartest person in the class does not necessarily mean that they're gonna be the best in practice or have the best practice in the world or have the, they're not gonna necessarily serve more people just because they were smart. I believe smart people or smart chiropractors take their skills and along with the soft skills that they need to learn and actually learn to adjust and learn to adapt to and learn to be able to communicate with people, that's the best skills to have. That's the combination of the hard skills and the soft skills that you need to become successful. I'm Dr. Lawrence Tam. I hope you liked this video. Please go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash driveyourpractice or go to our driveyourpractice.com website. I look forward to seeing you next week in the tip of the week.